We design, build and operate these unmanned surface vehicles, so these USVs as we call them. They're wave propelled USVs, so they're a little bit different. What it's designed to do is to go at sea for many weeks, so it's built to be robust, and when it's at sea, we'll operate it remotely. So it's out there collecting data over a period of, of many weeks and, and months for a scientist or defence or oil and gas clients, and what we do is we, we make sure the boat is safe and also that data is coming back, and that data is a valuable element. The real benefit to the end user of these alternate USVs is uh, twofold. One is that they're, they're carbon zero, so they, they use no uh, carbon emissions, they're wave propelled and use solar panels as well to power up the sensors and, and themselves. And it's that element of data, it's collecting that data. These systems can go to uh, hostile and remote places that it's uh, removed the risk of offshore personnel going to. A competitive advantage over other USVs, and there are a few other USVs, most of those are powered now, um, so they only go for at sea for a day or two at most. Of the ones that can go further, we have the ability to, to keep on track. We're really good at staying on course, which is important. You want to know where these USVs are. We're also a bit bigger than a lot of those other renewably powered USVs, so we can put more sense in them. Our USVs operate in all sorts of environments, in, in seas all around the world. We, we've deployed in the, the mid-Pacific, in the North Atlantic and remote parts of West Africa. So we, we like to be over the horizon. The USV likes to be out of sight and use satellite comms in the deep blue ocean, but also we've worked in coastal waters off, off the UK. We primarily export to Europe. We have a client base of marine institutes uh, in Europe, although they operate the, the vessel all over the world. Well, we're really excited to get more traction in, in the North America. We've building up from our customer base in, in Europe with marine institutes. We have a prototype in the States and in Texas, and there's some really exciting stuff going on both the East Coast and the West Coast, and Canada too. So we, we're really keen to e export more there. Also in the, in the South Americas, there's, there's some work going on as well. And we're also looking at the Far East market where there's some real interest from the defense sector. So the app really improves on the way we currently do overseas sales because we can get engagement from the, from the client at quite an early stage too and they get a real feel for the nuts and bolts of the product. Uh, it takes a moment to explain uh, a wave propelled on Christopher's vessel anyway, but to get under the skin of it so they can really see where their sensors are going to go, how we can bespoke build it for them, for their needs. Going forward, this app will really change the way we do business, I think. In the first instance, at, at trade shows, we don't have to haul one of these USVs physically so people can see it, understand it, so that, that first level of engagement will, will come a lot, lot quicker. And then as we go through the sales process, we can really begin to not just to feel our way around the internals so the, the customer gets a sense of what their individual USV will look like, but also build it, change it, try ideas out and, uh, and, and move through so we can, we can get the best possible product for the, for the customer.